Hey everybody, I've got a bit of a different video for you here today. I wanted to talk about some books that are out there to help people who want to learn more about video production. But I want to warn you that these are not light reading. These are not for people who are just getting started. These are for those among us that are more technical in nature and really want to understand the inner workings of how all this video production stuff works. So, yeah, these books have been tremendously helpful for me and I'm sure they can be for you as well. So. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first one I wanted to mention is this one. It's called Digital Video and HD, Algorithms and Interfaces. It's by, by Charles Poynton. Uh, it's a book is about a little over 700 pages, and it is very dense, very technical. And even, even within the first handful of pages, things are getting very, very, very technical. And I'll just sort of thumb through here and kind of let you get an idea for, for some of the stuff that's in here. Um, so obviously, can't go page by page, but let you kind of get a feel for what what the internal contents of this book actually are. So, I mean, even by the time you're getting into the first handful of pages, it's starting to talk about things like EOCFs and uh, aspect ratio and resolution and, um, yeah. So it covers pretty much everything, um, like how things are captured in a camera, how it's digitized and quantized, how those signals are encoded for different uh, types of connections, like SDI and HDMI and all that kind of stuff. It's all in here. It talks a little bit about color, but if color is the primary thing you want to learn about, I've got two other books that, are, that I'm going to recommend that uh, cover that in more detail. Uh, but really, if you want to know what's going on from a technical point of view with your video production systems, this thing is about as good as anything I've ever seen or heard of. Um, yeah, it's quite excellent. I, not the sort of book you're going to want to sit down and read cover to cover. At least most people won't anyway. Uh, I certainly have not. <laughs> um, but, yeah. The one downside to this book is it came out in 2012, and so it's never been updated for some of the newer technologies that have come out since then. It really focuses on standard definition and high definition. It doesn't get into ultra high definition or 4K. It doesn't get into HDR. It doesn't talk about HEVC compression. Uh, you know, in terms of compression, it kind of leaves off with MPEG-4 or M H.264. Um, but, but other than that, you know, there's MPEG-4 right there. Other than that, this book covers everything, pretty much everything. So you your, there's talk about your different color spaces, and color signal types, um, some of the issues with digital versus analog video, and yeah, it's very, very. Thir I'm only on page 217 here out of out of 700 pages, so I just kind of have to thumb through and. Uh, I'll give you a, an idea of what some of this looks like. So, yeah, a lot of time spent on color, but again, if if color is something that you're interested in, the next book I'm going to talk about is probably is going to be more suitable. But if you're looking for a, a general, all-around technical book that talks about video production, this is going to be going to be it. So there, yeah, there's a section on color processing, or signal processing, time code, pull down, inter deinterlacing. Yeah, co color bars, how they work, why you would use them, what what the different boxes mean. It's all here. Everything everything is here. So yeah, like there's a section here on SDI, and HD SDI uh, component, blah blah blah. It, it's, it's it shows you how the signals work. Yeah, it's it's a fantastic book. So if that's sort of sort of thing you're into, this book is going to be fantastic and is kind of a must have. All right, the next one here is Color Reproduction in Electronic Imaging Systems. This is by Michael Toombs, another fantastic book. I haven't had this one nearly as long, but it is a fantastic book. So this one is going to get into how we handle color in, with our reproduction system, electronic reproduction systems, which is anything from digital photography through video and other related fields. So, um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here. So it you know, starts out by talking about color wavelengths and how that relates to the way our eyes and cameras pick things up because they are actually very different and they actually have some examples in here of why a camera would perceive things one way whereas the human eye appears some, uh, uh, perceives it in some other way. Uh, uh, mixing, mapping, and categorizing colors is a section here. So, yeah. Again, this is another very technically dense book. So, Probably not something you're going to want to sit down and just start reading cover to cover. Uh, and every page is full of full of, full of a lot of information. Um, 
Yeah, some different color spaces. Section on color measurement and, per and perception, because they are different. You know, we do perceive things differently than measurement systems do. Uh, so color, color temperature, that's basically white balance. Um, and let me jump ahead. Color checker chart and how, how those colors actually are seen uh, in terms of the wavelengths. What day, daylight looks like in terms of wavelengths. Yeah, jump ahead here. Talks about different display systems, so CRT versus LCD versus whatever else. Um, how you actually do manipulations of color, so with the mathematics behind the different color systems, you know, for, for example, lab color versus sRGB versus uh, BT709, whatever, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all in here. So, yeah, there, there's some formulas on how to do conversions between a couple different systems there. You're going to find all of that sort of thing here. These are, these are the sort of things that I have had a very, very hard time finding on the Internet. It's uh, kind of information that just is not published for the public. And so it took me a long time to find a lot of this information as I've been writing software that, that takes advantage and does conversions between these different systems and whatnot. I've been doing that kind of thing for well, over 20 years now, and it has not been easy to find that information just on the public web. Uh, so I was super glad when I found this book because it has all that information I was looking for. It's like the conversion factors going from one color space to another and what the EOTFs, EOCFs, et cetera, are, are like for each one of those things. Um, yeah. So, anyway, uh, another absolutely amazing book. And yeah, there's some color, uh, some coverage of high dynamic range. Again, another, another great book if you want to become intimately familiar with the way that we handle color within our electronic systems, specifically video, and with regard to this channel. Here's information on printing. I probably have less interest to, to viewers of this channel, but but it's all there. You know, it's all very interesting. Um, so, yeah, you know, different file formats, how they work. So, you know, want to learn about how JPEG works. So that's going to be in there. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Color management. Uh, pretty much anything you need to know with regard to color in terms of how it works with digital video and photography systems. So there you go, another great book. All right, this last one, it's not so much a book that's going to be specific to video or photography or anything like that. This is really about color technology, color science, and how you understand how color works um, at a more general level. So this is actually the first book that I picked up with regard to processing color and doing stuff with color. Um, more than 20 years ago. Uh, I got an earlier edition of this book. I used that for years, and I finally updated got this newer version here just recently. Uh, but this is kind of the de facto book that everybody goes to when it comes to understanding color technology. So I'll kind of thumb through a little bit here. There's, so it's kind of, kind of unfortunate. The previous edition of this book had some stuff in it that this one does not. It had more actual real samples of things. Um, but, but this one's still... Still very, very, very good. This is an excellent book. Um, as, as mentioned, kind of a kind of the de facto standard. So, so here we're yeah looking at wavelengths versus versus uh, color and how we perceive those things. Um, talks about re how reflection and diffusion and absorption and all that kind of stuff works. So you kind of understand what's going on with all of that. Uh, it even talks about paints and how different particles in paint can affect the way that those paints are perceived. So. And we're, we're still just at page 11 here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this one gets very advanced very, very quickly. And uh, this, this was absolutely invaluable for me as I was developing some software 20 years ago to do conversions between different types of image formats. And I had to under, kind of understand all that stuff. Also, and I've, I've created software over the years in order to help people uh, come up with pleasing color schemes and understanding the science behind why things, why certain color schemes are pleasing versus others that are not. I got all that information from the, from the earlier version of this book. Um, so there's a ton of good information in here. So yeah, talking about different uh, ways of representing color. So we've got uh, RGB color cube versus HSB cylindrical system. Um, there's talk about Pantone system. 
how we represent colors numerically. There's a whole, whole section on that and a lot of, a lot of formulas and things like that. Again, very, very technical, not light reading, not the sort of thing you're going to sit down in a comfy chair and just read casually. Very dense. Yeah, I'll jump, jump, jump ahead here. But, yeah, incredibly valuable if you want to understand how color works. And it's way more complicated than, <laughs> than you know. If you've never looked into this stuff, there is so much more going on with color than, than, you would, than anyone would possibly know. So, anyway, yeah. Let's go step through a little bit more here. Talks about different types of lighting and how, how they affect the perception of color and, and whatnot, so. So anyway, fantastic book. Anybody who works with color at a technical and professional level, this is probably something that they ought to have. So anyway, there's that one. All right, so there you go. Three fantastic, very technical, very dense books to help you understand some of the technologies that are utilized when, when doing video production or photography or whatever. So these, again, are amazing. I've got links to those in the description down below or Again, you've seen those actually pop up through the course of this video as well. So if you have questions about these, be sure and leave those in the comment section down below. Or if you wanted to join in more of kind of a discussion format, you can join all of us over on Discord, and a link to that is showing up on your screen now. So, But that's going to do it for now. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a fantastic day.